Hi, it's Johnny Bergen here with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This one is being sponsored by a longtime student, and I'm so happy to come back and talk about this. Got to Find My Baby by Little Walter, um, remake of the Dr. Clayton song, and uh, got my uh, thumb and finger pick on for the for the uh, second guitar part, which I'm going to put down first. It's by Dave Myers. It credits the Stephen Wurz discography credits the Myers Brothers and Lockwood, but I think it's just Dave and um, Robert Lockwood. And uh, completely different tones, attitudes, and it's going to be really fun to put the parts together. So I'm going to play the whole song, which is 2 minutes and 48 seconds, if I play it at the right tempo. So it's got a four bar intro. This is an A. I'm playing this part with a capo. All right, here we go. Dave, if I mess up some of your stuff, don't be mad at me from where you are. Okay. <laughs> solo Another one. I can't tell if that's there or not. I barely hear it sometimes. But it works. I'm going to cut a little short. I'm one verse short. Well, I totally messed up the ending. <laughs> That's all right. So I don't want to talk too much about that because I've talked a lot about that in the lesson called That's It. And it's it's a lot of the same things. But uh, try this. So it's like... Just slow it down. So I've got the E seventh shape up here with your first two fingers, hammering on first fret G string. Two, three, on the one, go ping. Uh, try not to hit that open D string so much as like I did. He's always doing that, you know. That's going on to the four chord, playing the open and the second fret. Top part of your four chord, right? And then of course there's always this, which is that boogie woogie, upside down top pattern, if you want to call it that. That's how I think of it. It's the notes are... 
think of that as a boogie woogie, you know, just like a piano player would play a boogie woogie. But it's it's on the first and second fret up from your capo on the B string. You might hear that. Or you might just start with your second fret. That's fine. And then with your second finger, you have third fret, second fret open on the E string. We've talked about that. That's an 8 million Little Walter songs, right? And the blues in general when you're playing in an E position. So it'd be like, I got to find my baby. seventh it's just like um you're the one and all these other songs and you can even play a three finger a three finger b seventh without the g string if you want to but or you can put the g string in there like normal beautiful i call that getting the music out of the chords right See how I kind of walked up into the four. And then he says his best stuff for here. So all that real pretty stuff, which is, it's all in the third and second frets up from your capo. Try that. A tiny little tug on the B string. So here's what you got. And then three, two, hammer on the one. Beautiful, man. So the whole deal from the five would be like. with my second finger rolled over to the low E string. We've talked about that quite a few times. Last thing I'll say about Dave's part, because um, I know you guys are probably dying to get to that smoking, angry, aggressive Robert Lockwood stuff. Even though this stuff is kind of the heart of the song, it would sound kind of hollow without it. Um, it's They're both beautiful, so it's all good. But uh, check this out. You know how there's that there's that four bar intro and then it repeats when they go to to kind of the verses. Doom do doom do doom ba da doom do doom do doom and that's a five chord. So and that's what I did at the beginning. I don't know if that exactly happened on the record, but it totally it's gonna make sense once I do this uh, loop together because I want to bring the whole song together. So. So, you can try that. Now, sometimes during the song when they do that, I hate to see the sun, doo-doo, hurry to the west, doo-doo, I know my whole night's going up, be a solid mess, I got to find my baby. So, anyway, when it does that, sometimes I don't hear Dave. I don't hear anything except the piano and the bass and Robert Lockwood going, da-da, you know, and, and slamming away on that five chord. So... But sometimes I think I hear this. Well, I hate to see the sun pour it to the west. I know my whole life. And so we sort of echoing that little melody there, which is just a hammer on. Hammer on on the G string, first fret. Open E. And then your third finger on the third fret up. Yeah, man. Till my mustache drag, drag, drag the ground. I'm gonna find my big leg brown skin, cause I know she put me down. I got to find my baby. I declare, I, I, there's that upside down boogie woogie thing on the top strings, like I talked about. And then that's another one. 
so one it answers the other one a little more complicated. That's the notes right out of your E shaped chord, right? Then open E string, open B string, excuse me, second fret G string, part two, part one. This lesson is going to be a saga, man. So anyway, work on that, and it's right out of Jimmy Rogers, that whole beautiful style of playing that Dave Myers. Lewis Myers, Jimmy Rogers did so wonderfully. So now I'm going to take off the capo, open up the treble. Maybe I can even get a little uh, gain out of this thing. No, I got the gain all the way up, but okay. Yeah. So now let's. It sounds like Robert Lockwood definitely had some coffee that morning and he was fired up and ready to take care of business. You know, he has a real angry way of playing. He almost stabs the notes sometimes, you know. I hate to see the sun. Yeah, so he plays without a capo, you could play the quote unquote last night chord. I hate so doom do doom do doom doom do doom do doom. That's what I meant to do, okay. I'm, and you could even allow yourself a hair vibrato there. Um, so this is the last night chord that I love so much. We've talked about this. Here's your C7th, right? I use common, imp, common cowboy chords to understand where things are. Take your C7th there. Take these two fingers, put them on the third fret G and E strings, so they're moving down towards the floor. There's the last night chord. Your root is this first finger on the C note. So wherever, I mean, yeah, on the B string, first first fret, first finger, first fret, B string. So wherever this finger is, that's where your root is. So if you wanted to play an E you'd be right there with your first finger starting on the on the fifth fret. So, I hate to see the sun I hurry to the west I know my whole night's gonna be a song of this. And then he just plays the top part of an A ninth chord. I got to find my baby and then he goes Sometimes he has that way of playing one stroke, one down stroke and then two notes even three. We all know that from Akita Highway and all that. Um, but the way he plays it here and where it all goes and the richness of it all is just awesome. So in case you don't know what that was, I'll tell you now. So second finger, 11th fret. This is out of the four chord, D bar chord, right? Second finger, 11th fret, first finger, 10th fret on the G and B strings inside of your chord, right? Then your third finger is just kind of raring to go right here, 12th fret, 12th fret, 10th fret. So, so, so far you have. And now we're going to go down to the B string, do a half step bend, unbend it. So, so far we have. And then this note is kind of like the turnaround note where like, it's like imagine you're doing laps in a pool and you're coming up to the wall and you flip over and go the other way. So, doom, it goes like this. I don't think that chord's there, but it works. And then, yeah, so that, is just like this. So you can take this and put that up two frets, right? Then you're on the five. So everything is within that chord, but this is all out of like an E-shaped chord, right? This chord. That's in out of your E bar chord up here, 
13, 12, 14, and 12. Down two frets and you're in the B. I mean, you're in the D chord. And when you get to the one, he does an amazing thing. He does this. Just imagine the inside of that A bar chord. That's all right there, isn't it? Third finger, seventh fret, G string. Hammer on, sixth fret, G string. Then you got to roll. Seventh fret, A, D, and A string. Yeah. Then walk up to it, um, five, six, seven, D string. But one thing that I wanted to touch on is that you don't just have everything out of these chords, you have everything out of your ninth too. Remember how we were talking about the Dave Myers part where he was going with the capo? Well now we're gonna just blast through it Robert Lockwood style without the capo from the five. Everybody caught that? We're gonna play those as single notes out of like an E chord and an E ninth chord, then out of a D chord and then a D ninth chord. And it goes like this. I'm gonna do that again real slow. Oh! Now let's do it out of a D. This time we're gonna start with your third finger on the seventh fret of the B string. When you hit there, amazing, you're right in the middle of your A chord. And now that you're here, you got to switch it up a little bit. You're no longer in this ninth chord. He's not going to do this. That would sound like if AI was playing this song, right? They would do it because it makes sense or whatever. But, you know, once you're, it's, you know, it's like this is one world playing out of these chords. And playing out of these chords is another world. So he's switching worlds kind of because he's so fluent. So anyway, the main licks, you got them. Well, if I was a good Lord, pretty women would never die. May it look good, baby, but you got to hang your head and cry. Baby, I yeah, ain't that no real good love? I definitely can't play that and sing that. No way. Okay, so now I'm gonna try playing the song. He's a little laid back the first time for him. <laughs>
thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed seeing how that goes together. Especially, I love the guitars during the harp solo. It sounds like a whole band showcase solo. It's not just like everyone does nothing and the harp player goes nuts. You know, it's like everything's like a give and take seesaw yin yang thing, and it's just so beautiful the way they're doing that. So, um, Hope you enjoyed seeing all that, and uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Join me on Patreon if you have some memories of these great players or any thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Um, leave them in the comments, and see you next time. Thanks a lot.